Tonight at 6, there will be less help in the fall of 2020 for special needs students here in Columbus. Yeah, this is a change that will affect 2,300 Central Ohio students. NBC4's Adrian Robbins questioned the Columbus City School Board about the restructuring today that some here, Adrian, are calling a big mistake. Mark and Colleen, these are the people who help children with special needs go from high school to the workforce. The plan is to take the number of these coordinators from 26 down to 5 and leave their work to the the special education teachers, social workers, and school counselors. It's our most vulnerable um, will not have the supports that they need. On Friday, Maria Angel and 25 other workers who help these students were informed that a majority of them will be moved to other positions. The decision coming as a big shock. And there was nothing even asked of us that. What are you doing? What is it that your role is? Can you help us further explain what your role is? And that was never even asked of the leaders of our team. Maria has worked with special needs students for 21 years and says what she does every day can't be replaced by other staff members that she says already have too much on their plate. I picked up a student who was at a homeless shelter for a week in order to get her to school. It is those kinds of things. I picked up and went to a shelter and got her food and you know for her family at Christmas time. It's those um, safety nets and the services that we provide that will be eliminated that um, can't ever be replaced. The district said in a statement today, Columbus City Schools is not eliminating or reducing the services and enrichment programs provided to students with specialized needs. The district's academic services department is restructuring the work of its staff in order to expand targeted supports and direct services to students in the classroom. The teachers union has sent the district a cease and desist letter since the announcement. They're asking people to attend the next school board meeting on Tuesday, March 3rd. I will also be at that meeting. Adrian Robbins, NBC4.